Hello once again ladies and gentlemen, and it's Bobo the Vulture. It's time to play more Erebus Supersonic. Whew! It's been a while since I've done some of this, isn't it? As you recall last time, we had, uh, the seemingly low, low profits of... Get the frick out of there, you friggin... Sorry, I'm, uh, yelling at my cursor. Using my wireless mouse, which is, uh, to put it lightly, useless. Um, anyhow, yes. Last time we, you, uh, you joined us, I had a little sliver of uh, nine thousand, of, of nine million one hundred thousand uh, <coughs> profit, and I thought that was just peachy keen. It uh, would be even better if we had a higher level of profit than. Uh, than Siberia, but, you know, what you gonna do? There's only so much you can do. You can check out the regional rankings. We're number three in Europe, the only place where we have any regional flights. But, you know, who the hell cares, right? That's right. And look at this. We have, uh, not enough money to do anything right now. It's gonna be... <laughs> Like another several years before we have enough money to buy an airplane other than a uh, an A320, which we don't really have purpose of right now. Yeah, I know. Our home base, it's, it's in the Middle East. Yeah. That's right. We got two new slots in LA, though. Which we can't actually do very much with, because <coughs> if we look here at our plane holdings, we are using all of our planes. All three of our A320s, shown there, and uh, all five of our A310s, shown here. Let's see what good use we're putting those A310s to, actually. By going to London. Right now, for purposes of our business, we don't need to go to any place other than London to see all of our flights, because pretty much, even though we're an airline based in Tehran, and you can't see what I'm doing right now, but I'm making quotation marks with my fingers, <sighs> which, for all you folks at home know, that might mean I'm taking a pen and drawing quotation marks. But anyway, <clears throat> they all, f all of our flights, despite our airline being based in Tehran, all of them fly out of London. Go figure! Ooh, that London to Tokyo flight is nice and full. I like it. That flight from London to Athens is nice and full. I like it too. That flight to Rome, pretty full. I like it. That flight to Tehran, actually pretty full. What do you know? Not making a whole ton of cash, but uh, that's okay. The flight to LA, a little less full than some of the other ones, but uh, let's take a look at why. Let's look at the competition. They have dropped their... Look. It's just obscene. I've seen the amount of money they can make, though. Hmm. We need just a couple more flights a week, folks. Just like maybe one more plane on that route maybe two. Of course, in order to do that, we will have to wait a long, long time, because those planes cost, what, 42,000? Or 42 million, I should say. Mm. Oh no, they cost 38. Well, actually, we actually might be able to do that if we have a particularly good if we have a particularly good quarter or two, we might actually be able to buy another plane before the end of the year. Ha <laughs> ha! That is slow progress, folks. The funny thing, though, is that at this point it's steady progress. And if it weren't for the fact that the game, that you know, the scenario is set up to 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 go only over a certain time period, like we have until 2005, so we have. 11 more years before, you know, we're not quite halfway through this scenario. But, um, oh, actually, wait, is that true? 
1985. Yeah, geez, it's 19. It's all. It's it's 1994 right now, right? I believe that is what it is. Is it not? Yeah, 1994. Wow, 1994, folks. We are starting to get to uh, the point uh, at which uh, I would think that many, uh, if not most of my viewers, will remember what was going on in 1994, because they were alive. 1994 was the year Kurt Cobain killed himself. It's the year I entered high school. It was, uh, what else happened in 1994? No, those are pretty much the two big ones. I entered high school and Kurt Cobain killed himself. Thank you, but he, he killed himself upon hearing that I managed to get to high school. Yep, that's right. You know, it's interesting. I, uh, maybe it's just the radio stations I listen to. Maybe it's just the way radio play works anymore. I don't have like a fancy pants uh, satellite radio or anything. It seems like more and more people I know have those in their cars now. I don't. Um, but uh, yeah, just the regular radio stations around where I live. Um, I seem to fairly often hear the Nirvana cover of Man Who Stole the World, but not the... Wow, I'm still kind of behind on your regional flights. But, um, you know, like, honestly, if all you ever listened to was the radio around here, you would be under the impression that he wrote the song, which apparently is something that people will go up to David Bowie and say, like, oh, it's great to hear that you're playing this, uh, you know, Nirvana song. That's really cool of you. It's like, and apparently he will say, you know, F off your tosser. Which, you know, <laughs> I suppose he's got every right to do. We're not Air Max, folks. We're not Air Max. We're making a profit. We're making money. We're making money. Money. Yeah. Oh, uh, well. We're about as profitable as we can be. I mean, you know, just due to general market fluctuations, we are going to miss. You know, we're not going to break 10 million. Or, yeah, what is it? Yeah, 10 million every year. We might just get to 8 million, thereabouts. Our home base is located in the Middle East. We don't have any flights there. We should open some routes. You know, maybe you're right, Cookie. Oh, wait, we got 42 now. Was I saying that was enough? I don't know. I can't remember whether I was saying that was enough. It is enough, though. We can totally get this plane now. Yeah! This is Airbus's medium-range aircraft. Operating expenses are easy to keep low. I can order a maximum of that. That will cost that. Alright. Tempting, but, you know, we just... These are actually uh, a little cheaper to run. Seating capacity is not the same. But, uh, you know... We're not filling up any of our flights as it is, so why would we be worried about seat capacity? That's just foolish, right? Foolish. All right. I feel bad for my poor team. My poor team's just sitting around. I mean, these guys aren't getting to develop personalities like. Uh, like uh, Deep Fat Fryer Tuck or uh, Snidely Whiplash or British Lennon got to. You know? I mean, Smoothie McSmootherson and Junior, they're sort of holdovers from the last run through the game. I mean, Johnny Hardlife, I, <laughs> I based his entire character around the fact that uh, I think Grimmeth got him as, a, as an agent and said, wow, you look like you've had a hard life. <laughs> Shall I conduct the meeting? Go ahead and conduct the meeting. Kakarine. Let's discuss opening new routes. A better route between Tokyo and Osaka? Um, or between Los Angeles and New York would be good. I, I guess she's a cyborg. <laughs> 
<laughs> I didn't realize. I was trying to give her as plain a voice as possible since she didn't have a personality yet. But okay. She's small wonder. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. Let's also open a route between Tehran and Tokyo. You want to establish service between London and South America? Maybe Mexico City? Yeah, cause uh, Air Mex is doing so well out of there, Junior. Duh. He's just homesick, you know? It's his first long trip away from home. He kind of misses the folks. He wanted to prove that he was big and grown up and he could manage this, this business venture out in Tehran by himself, but, you know, it's kind of scary for him. I feel sort of bad. I'll consider the flight to Mexico City, Junior. Next, let's discuss adjusting existing routes. No. So let's discuss our plane holdings. Yes. I'll leave our planes are currently in service. We should buy more A310s. <laughs> I think we need more. Well, I'm gonna guess I said A320s, but you just flip right past. Whatever. I don't even care anymore. I'm used to this sort of treatment out of folks. Holding planes in reserve makes it easier to open more routes or increase the number of flights. Very good. Did you read that out of the textbook? <laughs> yes. That's okay. Textbook knowledge is still good knowledge. Next, let's discuss business ventures. Sure, why not? Our company currently does not have any business ventures. Meetings adjourned. Good discussion about business ventures. Of course, they always do that. I can't exactly be surprised that it happens every time. It happens all the time. How many flights do I have going? Oh, two. Hmm. All right. So seventy percent full. You know, I could almost stand to open more, open more routes there. Maybe I'm starting to talk crazy talk though. Business is booming. Tourists are flocking to Tunis. Wow, Metlink's got a lot of interregional passengers. I suppose I should be nervous, considering Metlink is now number one in Europe, which is the only place Siberia really had a chance of holding them off. <laughs> yeah, I probably should be nervous. Basically, folks, the fact that I'm starting to generate money is leading me to believe... Oh, Norway has joined the European community. Oh, they did? Okay. Yep, our home base is located in the Middle East. We don't have any flights there. You are right, miss. And we have an A320, that is also correct. Alright, folks, you know where this is going the one place it can go. Do, 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 do. Alright, one, two, five, ninety. Wow. Okay. What did they do? Yep, they dropped the flights. You know what? Okay, to change this flight is shown. Yes. Of course, if we have to, what we can eventually do is cancel that route, close down the operation in LA, or start a hub in Tokyo and start flying into LA from that direction. It's a lot of startup costs involved in that, though, folks. Yeah, oh uh, well. Let me look at this one more time, see uh, how much have I cut into their profits. Not enough, but some, you will see. I think they've trimmed back 
I mean, you folks can go back and check the video later, but I think they trim back the number of flights they're actually offering in order to retain profitability. But I'm not sure. You can't quote me on that. But yeah, that's fine. I went ahead and made the change. We're now 30 below. And uh, have 11 to 90. Okay. Metlink is going into Africa, making their hub Tunis, which immediately becomes the hotspot for tourists. Oh, Metlink. No, but basically what I'm thinking happens in this scenario now. I was thinking that now that I'm turning a profit, basically we might just get to the point where I've managed to grow the airline enough to where it's viable and can stand on its own, but the scenario runs out of time. If Metlink has already gained number one in Europe from Siberia, it's really only a matter of time before they decide to go and take over Southeast Asia. Oh wow, look at that profit. I could buy another A310. Just, well, not quite, but still. Stunning. We're actually getting to the point where I might want to think about saving some money to start up a hub in Tokyo and then doing flights that way. Actually getting back to being an airline, like, you know, a regional airline. But I might be getting ahead of myself. But no, if um, Metlink's already number one in Europe, it's only a matter of time before they decide to stomp over the rest of the world. Um... Our home base is in the Middle East. We don't have any flights there. Wow, the flight from London to Tokyo is not uh, filling up as much as it used to. Let's drop the price 5% and uh, see what happens. Flight to Athens looking good, flight to Rome looking good, flight to Tehran looking good. This flight's still not looking great. What is the competition done? Well, they've decided to stop fighting us. So I guess that means we can put our rates back up, too. Although that may also be catastrophic. Either way, that route is still generating us money. It's not generating as much money as I was hoping for, but all we've lost out of uh, setting it up is time. And I don't know that we've necessarily lost time either. We were eventually going to need to start a route into North America. Might not have put it there, though. Might have put it in New York. Certainly the uh, airport in New York is going to get developed up now. I actually have an interesting concern. Well, maybe it's not interesting. I think it's fascinating. All right. Well, what if we go over here and hop over to uh, Southeast Asia for a moment? Now we take this. Tokyo. Would you know my name? If I saw you in heaven. Dang! 6,750. I figured it was going to be too far, but I wanted to see whether or not we could use A310s to get to New York from Tokyo. Ah, oh, well, what kind of airplane would we have to use for that kind of a massive flight? That's not gonna do it, that's not gonna do it. That's gonna do it, but that thing's friggin' expensive. Wow. Now, 
mind you, a flight from uh, New York to uh, Tokyo would generate a lot of cash. Even so, that is an expensive plane to have to buy to get that route set up. I don't imagine Boeing has anything uh, more affordable that does the same uh, that does the same job, though. Looks like the 747-300 is almost set up to do that specifically. Yeah, doesn't matter. These are still more expensive planes to do the same job. Pretty sure McDonnell Douglas is only selling the Super 80 in this scenario right now, right? Oh no! They started selling the MD-11. Which is actually not a bad plane for that sort of a task. I mean, it's pretty fuel efficient, has long range, good seating capacity. Basically, apparently at this point, the highest praise that you can give, uh, you can give an airplane is, it's kind of like an Airbus. Unless it's an Airbus. Aha, well. Wow. That's a terrible airplane. And I'm sure it would be very non profitable for that sort of an endeavor, but uh, you could use that plane on the route. Sixty eight seventy, huh? Pretty sure Tupolev doesn't have any uh, big airliners like that right now. Yeah, they've got uh, they've got little airliners. I could almost buy one right now, but why? Why indeed, folks? Why indeed? Well, we pretty much bought one airplane and uh, changed the. Uh, Change the routes slightly, the, uh, the the prices on routes slightly. That's pretty much been our year in a nutshell. Now then, let me look at the route to Tokyo. Okay, I have five flights on it. It's still pretty profitable. Tell you what, let us look at. I will bid for slots. Please allow me to do this task. Let's go to Southeast. Oh, we already have two there. Whoops, one too far. There we go. Um, let's go to London. Oh, you'll notice up there in the uh, top left. We have sort of a blue field now. It's stars because it's the European community. Oh, apparently in three months, London's going to add a whole bunch of slots to its uh, airport. So, marvelous news, everyone. Negotiations will take three months. We have good negotiate. We have good relationship with London now because we have a uh, we have a uh, b -b 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 hub. That's the word I was looking for. Three letter word, very difficult to find. We're probably not going to need those slots for a little while, but you never know, there might be some random unexpected bump up in money that would allow us to get a plane ahead of time. Anyhow, folks, this pretty much will wrap up this year of uh, Aerobiz Supersonic. Strange as that seems, I know. No! Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Bobo Air Supreme, and you betrayed it! Why would you do that? Bobo Air flight personnel are striking due to hard working conditions. And I endeavored tirelessly to never cut your pay or your budgets. All I ever cut from was advertising. You f people are ungrateful. And why are you all wearing bandanas? You canceled most of my regularly scheduled flights. <sighs> Man, if I lose money this quarter because of this, oh look at that! Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
It looks as though it's effectively cutting most of my uh, flights in half. Not really sure if that's exactly how it works, but uh, my educated guess from just seeing the numbers run by there real quickly and trying to do math in my head, which is a terrible idea. And, ah, I'm losing money. And suddenly, I hate organized labor. <laughs> Come on. Boo, boo, boo. Bo, bo, boo, boo. I say. Boo, boo, bo, bo. Nope. Oh, still carried more passengers than air. Uh, Max. Lost more money, though. <sighs> well, on that sour note, I guess i uh, going to call it a wrap on this particular edition of. Uh, Let's play Aerobiz Supersonic. This is Bobo the Vulture inviting you to come back next time when, uh, <clears throat> hopefully, uh, hopefully Labor won't be trying to squeeze blood from a turnip. You lousy workers. <sighs> I thank you very much for watching, folks. <laughs> Bye now.